YouTube, it's Brett, and today we're back with another skate setup. Last time we were here, we did the East Coast Jason Dillon Mark Gonzalez inspiration deck. This week, I got something new for you guys. We're gonna take a trip across the pond all the way over to Europe, and we're gonna do a setup inspired by my favorite city, London. Before we do the London deck, I just wanted to give you a quick review on my FA setup. I skated this deck for probably a month and a half, and it was okay. I was kind of disappointed in the quality. It felt like it was a really poorly made skateboard. That's nothing against Jason Dill or FA as a company. Maybe it was just a bad deck that I got. It didn't work out so great, and I'll show you some clips right now of it. So here's the deck, guys. Uh, it's worn pretty well. I did skate it quite a bit, like I said, but here's the problem. The chipping. This is awful. It was really disappointing for me to get that and have that be the first deck that I tried out. Maybe if you're looking for a deck, FA might not be the best. I also have to say that these FA trucks though, these were great. The one thing that I hated about this deck was these stupid independent bearings. They just didn't last at all. There's one on here that's completely dead. And for a product like that, I don't think that you should die within a month and a half. So I reached out to Independent and they're gonna warranty my bearings, which is really dope and I really appreciate that from them. Anyways guys, back to the London deck that I wanted to talk about. London holds a really special place to me in my heart uh, because of their rich history entrenched in design and art. You've got art galleries there like the Tate Modern, and Gagosian has a gallery there. If you don't know who Larry Gagosian is, this guy makes probably 1.2 to 1.3 million dollars per transaction per day in the art world, all on private sales. He brings in over a billion dollars for his galleries per year. Europe has a big skateboarding culture as well, which is really cool to see. I remember back in the early 2000s and Jeff Rowley had just showed up on the scene and he won Skater of the Year in 2000. Today, London has some of the best streetwear in all of the world, as well as skate brands. Brands like Polar and Palace coming out of Europe. And those are major players right now in the skateboarding industry. So the colors and stuff like that that I picked for this deck and this setup specifically all have to do with the new vibrancy that is the Tate Modern. It's got some really beautiful works. If you ever go to Europe, I highly suggest checking out the Tate Modern. But uh, I'm getting really excited to show you guys the deck. So here it is. So as you guys can see, we got the Chewy Cannon Palace board. This board was from S12, so it's one or two seasons old, but it's beautiful. Look at that graphic. They go from the textures to the plants on top. Looks great. And then the Palace Triangle with the Chewy logo there. I love the top of this deck though. They really put some time and effort into thinking out the graphics for this. The grip tape's just like standard mob grip tape that I painted. I kind of did like a Jackson Pollock uh, inspiration with the splatter painting. I do a lot of painting myself and splatter is kind of like one of the effects that I use a lot. We're gonna be running some brand new independent trucks on this as well. And then we're just gonna run the same Spitfire wheels that I had. All right guys, so there you have it. That's the London setup. Uh, let's go throw this together really quick and see how it looks. All right guys, so I got the final product right here. Pretty clean, 
Good color scheme. I really, really like this Palace deck. I think it's got some beautiful colors in it. And the grip tape here just adds to that super cool art aesthetic that I was going for with the City of London. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos like this. I really enjoy doing them. And if you guys give me some uh, suggestions in the comment box below, maybe I'll pick the city that you're in and we can do a skateboard on that. Or even a theme in terms of art and design related to skateboarding. Thanks for watching. Much appreciated. Take care.